So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to replace the dog bone in your HPI Savage XS Flux. So this thing, you can tell, has, it's broken. It's been in a recent wreck, and so we are going to be uh, replacing this, which is one of the pieces that I broke. Okay, so first we need to identify the side at which the dog bone is missing. In this case, I'm, I'm missing the dog bone right in here. So, you wanna take your body off. Failed to mention the tools we will need for this video are your multi-tool, should come with your truck. We will be using this piece right here, which is a C-clip removal tool. Um, it's got a little bit of a lip in the top, which allows to remove C-clip. So, first step, we are going to need to take the wheel off. This can be done by taking the seven millimeter end and twisting until your wheel comes off. Now that your nut is off, the wheel should just slide off. And your hex should just pop off and then the little teeny rod should just come right out. So next, we're gonna set these parts aside and lift up the front of the truck. The C-clip should be mounted here on the back of the A-arm. Once you've gotten your C-clip off, go ahead and set it in your parts tray. Now, the rod holding your A-arm together should just slide right out. I actually like to use the end of the dog bone to give it a little bit of a pull if it's a little stubborn. Should slide right out in the parts tray. Next, it should totally disassemble. Once the step is done and you have full access, the best thing to do now is make sure this is all lined up, slide it in the joint, fold this back down, try and find where it locks in, and you'll know it's locking in when you can grab the other wheel and it will spin. So now you're going to line the bottom up, take your pin, this part I like to kneel down so that I can see. Then I will line it up, push it through. At this point, you should just be able to snap the C-clip on with your fingers. I like to turn the arm back so that I can get in there. I'm just going to use the tool for simplicity. It'll make a little clicking sound when it's back on. So now that that step's all done, you can go ahead and I like to straighten out the axle. Then take your pin, go ahead and push it through the axle. Slide on your wheel nut, or I call it a wheel nut. It's the piece that holds the, or that allows the wheel to turn. Take your wheel, line it up. Take your nut. For your wheels, you should be using flange lock nuts, which will allow for the wheel to go on much easier. And also, it will tighten it down so that when you're moving fast, your wheel doesn't fall off. I've had that happen before and that's a mess. So now you are all done. I will be leaving um, a list of tools needed to make this repair in the description below. 
Also, if you liked today's video and found it helpful, make sure to leave a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. If uh, there's another video you'd like to see based off of this truck or one of my other trucks, um, or my other car, leave that video asking for what you want down in the description below, and I hope you guys have a good day.